154 days into the next Bitcoin halving cycle, but technically we could potentially already be in a bull run. In today's video, we're going to be talking about why staying on the sidelines, family, on the sidelines could be a huge mistake and, you know, not having some type of skin in the game, right? We're talking about entities, these huge entities who could potentially be setting themselves up to load up the bag on Bitcoin, which will cause a large influx of capital and liquidity to go into the cryptocurrency space. Um, I was talking about on the stream, stream, on the stream, you know what I'm saying? We got that country accent on the stream that uh, the uh, liquidity on Tether is, is rising, right? The market cap is rising here. And that's usually an indicator that new money is coming into crypto. We also pointed out that about six months ago, it was only 21% women in crypto. Now family is 47%. So listening to a lot of those guys is telling you to turn bullish when we get quantitative easing in could put yourself at risk of missing out on a 50 to 100x gain. I'm saying that to say this, if you take a look at the history, shout out to my boy Crypto University, every time we print two green six months candle history says that we're going to print two more and that we could potentially already be in the bull run so i'm saying that to say this the bull run could have potentially already started in january and if you wait until peak bull run like a lot of people are saying the bull run starts around election time which is a great conversation with that because we usually norm normally don't go up before the halving cycle so the time scale is a little bit different but the charts seem to stay the same right the cycle seems to repeat itself every time now to be fair we haven't printed this six month candle yet we're still waiting on it but if it prints green history says that we will get two more green candles so another year of bullish trajectory another year of the uptrend and we've already seen the uptrend kind of start here from bitcoin and even cryptocurrency if we go to the uh total market cap here i'll pull it up to you guys if we go to the total market cap here this is why it's so important right it's very very important family to look to zoom out sometime to look at cryptocurrency from all aspects we do got the uh potential etfs coming a lot of people feel like uh um what's the uh the arc will be the first one even kathy woods came and said hey you know the the, the um the um the sec they're not communicating back with us they're not we're sending them all of this paperwork but they're not saying whether it's wrong or right so technically that's a good sign because they're not saying hey we need to correct this so the etfs could potentially happen at any moment um, i know it's another one coming up in the 21st um a lot of people think that one will get uh pushed back a little bit and the first one may come january 10th so you're really putting yourself at risk because even on a six month chart you can see here that uh bitcoin is on a upward trajectory headed into the halving cycle so um again even if you want to you know base your uh your decision off altcoin season i mean we're very very close to a potential altcoin season where uh the top half of the altcoins have outperformed bitcoin on the 90 day you're starting to see centralized exchanges list some of the new cryptocurrencies we just see news from casper and uphold i believe casper could potentially here get listed um on binance binance just posted that they are launching a futures for casper so we already know there weren't a lot of listings from the top centralized exchanges in the bear market but now we're starting to confirm that we're having bullish sentiment which tells me that when you see these listings of these new cryptocurrencies starting to happen in, in you know, like dominoes, right? Dominoes dropping, we are close or we are already in. And when people start to say we're in a bull run, we probably already been in a bull run for three to six months. So again, pay attention to some of the indicators that I'm pointing out here. The fact that the percentage of women entering cryptocurrency, the fact that the tether uh, market cap is rising, new liquidity it's coming into crypto. And if you're not positioning yourself now, you're putting yourself at risk to missing one of the greatest uh, uh, wealth transfers of all time. I think I had a, a post here from Miles, as you can see here. And this is the total three uh, chart. And the total three on the weekly looks like it has started a uptrend, family. So be aware of what's going on in cryptocurrency space. This is just a uh, example of why we could potentially already bull in, be in a bull run and why you could be taking a huge risk for being on the sidelines. Of course, not financial advice. I'm not telling you to buy into cryptocurrency, but you can see here, even if we look at our big four, stuff like Casper, 
uh, Cash West pumping, um, a Tor protocol is pumping. A lot of these older and new cryptocurrencies, I can go from old to new, are uh, have pumped two to three X within the last uh, month or so, right? So if you look at every cryptocurrency altcoin chart, most of them have put in a reversal pattern and have now started a uptrend. And even from the total market cap, most of them look just like this. They've broken out of the lower highs and lower lows, and now they've begun to put in a uptrend. So just a quick video, 154 days and I was like, y'all let me know, are we truly in a bull run? Is this altcoin season? What do you think about the macro environment? How do you feel about a Bitcoin bull run starting before the halving cycle and before quantitative easing? I want to know everybody's comments. Make sure you comment, join the Patreon, check out the links in the description and let me know how you feel about the current sentiment of cryptocurrency. It's your boy Crypto Millie. I'll see you in the next week.